All right, when you're paying more than four bucks a gallon for gas, and you are, yes, you know yes. it's not cheap, but gas prices have fallen off their record highs. Register reporter John Gittleson has been following the local, national, as well as international trends. He joins us now from the Register Building in Santa Ana with the big picture. How you doing, John? I'm good. Good, good. to see you guys again. Yeah, good to see you. Uh, we're glad you're back yet another week in a row. It's good to have you in. Um, talk a little bit about the, the gas prices. Uh, they have come down just a bit. What do we owe that to? They're down like 20 cents a gallon on average. And uh, basically, falling demand is what is driving prices down. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, There's a new report out today that just shows back in April, um, Californians used about 2% less gas than they did a year ago, April. And that was when gas prices were 365 or something a gallon. Today, the average in Orange County is about 425. And mm -hmm. some places you can find it for 399 a gallon or less. Oh, well, I got to look for those areas. What now? Um, it, in Orange County, that's one thing. What about statewide, nationally? How, how are we sort of keeping up? Well, um, California is more expensive than the national average uh, as far as um, because we have higher taxes, because we have special blends of gas. Um, it's, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how the rest of the nation compares, but uh, I've heard like nationally, year to date, 4 to 5% uh, reduction in gas um, use because people aren't driving as much. People are thinking about more where they're going, and maybe they're slowing down a little bit. Yeah, right. Now, the oil futures, how is that affecting this whole picture? Well, it's about two to three months in the future before the oil that comes out of the ground actually goes from across the ocean in ships, gets delivered, refined, and brought to the gas pumps near you. So it can take a while for um, prices on the futures market, which is what we talk about when we talk about barrels of oil, to finally reach down here. But those are down from a peak of 146, 147 a barrel to today like 127 dollars a barrel. Yeah, and and go ahead, did you have another question? No, it's just it's just still so darn high. <laughs> yeah. I know we're talking about like a twenty cent difference as you said. It was twenty cents lower and still I paid four twenty five at the pump today. <laughs> And so it, it does seem like it's still up there, but we are seeing a change um, in the lowering of prices. Uh, people are also riding the Metrolink a lot more. Their ridership has gone up considerably in the past couple of months. Yeah, it has. Um, and then also toll road uh, driving is down, um, and bus ridership is up. Usually the Metrolink gets more of the commuters who are trying to save on gas because um, they're like the long haul type of people. Mm -hmm. The people that ride the bus are usually the shorter trip people, people who don't have cars. Um, so for the buses to have an increase in ridership is a pretty significant indicator. And in fact, I was talking to Joel Zlotnick over at OCTA today who said that they're putting bigger buses on the Seal Beach to Irvine route because oh. more people are riding those buses and they need more seats. Yeah, very good. All right, John, we appreciate you joining us again today. Um, we'll look for uh, your article in the Orange County Register. Thanks a lot, John. We'll see you soon. Good seeing you guys Thanks, again. John.